name is Dan Lo. In this video, I'm going to show you how to prove geometric mean, no less than harmonic mean by mathematical induction, which is this. So, given the n numbers x1 to xn and n divided by um, reciprocal of each, some of them less than or equal to. Uh, nth root of the product of the n numbers. So in order to do that, we first need a lemma. So this lemma simply uh, set condition. The product of n numbers equal to 1. Okay. Then we have the sum of reciprocal of each. Okay, the inverse of each uh, larger than or equal to n. Okay. So to do that, uh, we're going to prove this uh, inequality by induction. So consider the x1, x2, 2x, m plus 1, n uh, plus 1 numbers. Okay. If their product is equal to 1. Okay. So for the product to be equal to 1, not all the n plus 1 numbers are larger than 1. Otherwise, obviously, it, you know, the product is larger than 1 cannot be that. So at least the one of them must be less than one. Let's say x one less than one. Okay. Now, uh, once we set the x one less than one, then the rest n numbers x two to x m plus one. Okay. Again, they cannot uh, all less than one. Otherwise, the product is less than one. It's not going to be equal to one. So at least one of them, one of the n numbers, had to be larger than one. Let's say x two larger than one. So x one less than one, x two larger than one. So we have uh, the one minus x one because x one is less than one. So this is a positive number. And x two is larger than one as x two minus one is larger is positive number. So positive times positive is positive. Okay. Then uh, we expand it out. So it's x one plus x two minus x one is two minus 1 larger than 0. So we have the x1 plus x2 larger than x1 times x2 plus 1. So now we can see there uh, 1 over x1, uh, 1 over x2, 1 over xm plus 1 over xm plus 1. Consider this and then we combine the first two numbers. Okay, Combine the first two terms. So it becomes x1, x2 and x1 plus x2 for the numerator okay but the x1 plus x2 larger than um, x1 x2 plus 1 so we have 1 plus 1 over x1 x2 plus 1 over x3 all right to 1 over xm plus 1 and now look at this uh, n numbers we can see the x1 x2 as a number uh, their product is 1 and therefore uh, they based on the induction hypothesis this guy is larger than uh, n okay so altogether this guy the whole thing is larger than 1 plus n which is n plus 1 so we got proved so the general case is this given the n numbers x1 to xn we did the g the geometry mean equal to uh, the nth root of the product of x1 to xn then the g to the power of n is equal to uh, the product of the n numbers. Okay. Then uh, we distribute the g over h, so it becomes x1 divided by g, x2 divided by g, all the way to x n divided by g. So this product had to be one because you move this to the right hand side. Okay. Then uh, we now can see the x1 divided by g, x2 divided by g. These n numbers, they are, they are, their 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 product is one, and therefore. Uh, we have uh, from the lemma, okay, 1 over s1 divided by g plus 1 over sn by g, all the way to 1 over sn divided by g. I know this is s2, sorry, I got a typo. And this must be larger than equal to n from the lemma, okay. And then, yeah, you do some arithmetic operations. So g times 1 over s1 plus 1 over s2 all the way to 1 over xn must be larger than equal to n. Therefore, we have the n divided by this term less than or equal to g, which g 
is the nth root of the product that can prove that. So that's all I have to uh, for this video. And have a good day. Enjoy.